Have you ever seen a huge airplane soar through the sky and wondered, what's that roaring sound? That, my friends, is the sound of a jet engine hard at work. In simple terms, a jet engine is like a really powerful fan. It sucks in air, mixes it with fuel, burns the mixture, and then blasts it out the back, creating a whole lot of push, which we call thrust. This thrust propels the airplane forward, defying gravity and taking us on amazing journeys. Now, let's break down how this incredible feat of engineering works, step by step. Just like a car engine has different parts that work together, a jet engine also relies on a team of components. We'll explore each of these key players, air intake, compression, combustion and exhaust. Get ready for some high-flying science. Imagine you're holding a straw in your hand. What happens when you put one end in your mouth and pull in air? That's right, you create suction. A jet engine works on a similar principle, but on a much larger scale. The front of the engine, called the air intake, acts like a giant straw, gulping in massive amounts of air as the plane moves forward. This air is crucial because it provides the oxygen needed for combustion, which is like the boom that makes the engine go. The shape of the air intake is carefully designed to maximize the amount of air that can be drawn in. Kind of like how a funnel helps you pour liquid into a small opening without spilling. So, the next time you see a jet engine, remember that it all starts with a big gulp of air. Puff. Okay, so we've got all this air inside the engine, but now what? This is where things start to heat up, literally. The air enters a section called the compressor, which is basically a series of spinning blades attached to a shaft. Think of it like a high-speed fan, but instead of pushing the air away, it squeezes it together, making it denser and hotter. Why is this important? Well, just like you need to pack gunpowder tightly into a firecracker for a bigger bang, compressing the air allows for a more powerful explosion when the fuel is added. The more we compress the air, the more energy we can extract from the fuel later on. It's all about maximizing efficiency and creating the biggest boom possible. Section four, fiery business combustion explained. Now for the main event combustion. The compressed air, now superheated from being squeezed, is mixed with fuel and ignited in the combustion chamber. This creates a continuous controlled explosion that releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of hot expanding gases. It's like lighting a match inside a balloon, except this balloon is made of metal and can withstand incredibly high temperatures. The combustion chamber is where the magic happens, transforming the potential energy stored in the fuel into kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion. This powerful blast of hot gas is what drives the next stage of the process, where the real pushing power is generated. Section 5, Blasting Off how exhaust creates thrust. Remember Newton's third law of motion? For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The hot expanding gases produced in the combustion chamber need somewhere to go, so they are forced out of the back of the engine through a narrow opening called the nozzle. This high-speed jet of exhaust creates thrust, propelling the airplane forward. Think of it like this. Imagine you're standing on a skateboard holding a fire extinguisher. If you point the nozzle behind you and pull the trigger, what happens? That's right, you'll start moving forward. The force of the escaping gas pushes you in the opposite direction. A jet engine works on the same principle, just on a much grander scale. Section six, fun jet facts. Did you know? Jet engines are truly marvels of engineering and there's so much more to learn about them. Did you know that the first jet engine was invented in the 1930s, it's true? And today, jet engines power not only airplanes, but also helicopters, missiles, and even some race cars. Some jet engines are so powerful that they can generate over 100,000 pounds of thrust, which is more than the weight of a fully loaded school bus. So there you have it, a glimpse into the fascinating world of jet engines. Next time you see a plane streaking across the sky, take a moment to appreciate the incredible science and engineering that makes it all possible. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and never stop learning.